Hey everyone, welcome back uh, to the Hacks series. This is a very interesting topic today. It's uh, why over 50% of Google searches now result in no clicks at all. So for decades, the golden rule of SEO has been clear. To convince Google that your content best satisfies a search query so that your page is served high in the search results. When this happens, often enough, you get click-throughs and free traffic to your website. But what if Google now doesn't need your content so much? I'm Ben Carew, the host of SEO Hacks for SMEs, and in this video, I'll reveal why over 50% of Google searches now result in no clicks at all, and what you can do about it. Over the last few years, you may have noticed how Google has changed the look and feel of the search engine results page. Nowadays, uh, users often see rich listings, knowledge panels, carousels, other types of what we call rich snippets. And guess what the effect of this has been to Australian business owners who publish their content on Google? Way less clicks to websites overall. So way less free traffic from the Google search engine. In fact, a milestone was passed in June 2019, where for the first time, a majority of all browser-based searches on google.com resulted in zero clicks to any websites. The reason over 50% of searches resulted in no clicks because as we've seen, Google is often answering the searcher's query right there on their results page. There's no, there's no need to click to a website and get lost in a new set of pages and navigation challenges. We're all familiar with Google's results page and are happy to take our answers easily and quickly in a format that we're familiar with and especially on mobile. So it raises a big question. Uh, is SEO still worth it? And um, the answer is yes, but it means that in future, as Google accelerates this trend, as we think it will, uh, there'll be less clicks to go around generally. Business owners, website publishers, and the digital marketing agencies who serve them need to get smarter and work harder. If your traffic for particular keywords has already been reduced by a knowledge pack or rich snippet, here are a few tactics you can try to take back that traffic that Google has claimed for itself. So number one, go for a long tail version of that search query that's not yet affected and check the results page to see if there's a carousel on it. Number two, create a video and hijack the Google video carousel. Mostly that means YouTube. Number three, write an epic blog post of over 1500 words that's so good that Google has to serve it up first. If Google's new walled garden strategy sounds familiar, it's because it is. It's actually the very thing that became Yahoo's undoing at the hands of Google almost 20 years ago. In fact, SEO guru Rand Fishkin reckons by trying to keep users on its own results and web properties for as long as possible, Google has essentially broken an implicit pact it has always had with web publishers. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts and leave a comment below. And if you want to get more hacks delivered to your inbox, don't forget to subscribe as well. See you later.